Tell me I'm not the only person that after watching the show, I just kept thinking, okay, if I got my hands on Compound V, what would my power be? Maybe something with like electricity or controlling the weather? Or maybe like a super powered voice. and today we are talking about the first season of Amazon Prime's new series, The Boys. The Boys was a superhero comic book series created by Garth Ennis and was adapted into this show by the dream team of Seth Rogen, Evan Goldberg, and Eric Kripke. And instead of doing good, we are following superheroes who abuse their superpowers, leading a group of non-powered vigilantes called The Boys on a journey to expose the truth. Consider subscribing if you like my videos and drop down in the comments so we can talk about The Boys together. I cannot wait to hear what you guys thought about this one. Superhero stories are full of people who want power, they want control, they want to take over the world, and The Boys is no different there, showing us a story about what happens when power corrupts people. But what gives this story a unique take in the superhero genre is that it gives us something that we have not seen before. These superheroes, the good guys, are the ones being corrupted by this power. In The Boys, superheroes are more focused on being celebrities, building their brands, making money, than they are about really helping people. They see themselves as gods in a more than borderline cultish way. I'm the world's greatest superhero. I can do whatever the fuck I want. But we learn that they also have the same issues that regular people do, dealing with insecurities, drug addiction, hurting people they're meant to save. This show is definitely a commentary on the big superhero culture that we have going on right now. And while the masses are still going to their movies and asking for selfies and worshipping these superheroes, there is a subset of people whose lives have been essentially ripped apart by their mistakes and they want to stop them. Cue to our incredible cast, we have the boys who are a non-powered group of vigilantes, and then there's the seven a corrupt group of superheroes managed by a power-hungry mega corporation called Vought, with a cast including Carl Urban, Jack Quaid, Karen Fukuhara, Aaron Moriarty, and more. What I love about this cast is they are fully committed, they are in it, and you could just tell how much the actors care about this project. I had the pleasure of interviewing a bunch of the cast members at Tribeca Film Festival this year, and they were all just so engaged and excited to talk about this project. If you want to check out those interviews, I'll leave a link over here. But honestly, the cast is so awesome that I was really really crossing my fingers that I was going to love this show, and they didn't let me down. You believe Erin Moriarty as Starlight, the girl next door, the fighter who truly wants to save the world, or Jack Quaid as Huey, this shy tech guy who over the course of the season really learns to stand up for himself. Jesse T. Usher as A-Train, who's this superhero struggling to stay on top, and he's going to do anything, anything at all that it takes to keep his spot. Or you know, Frenchie, his compassion and friendship with the female really got me in my feels. Each character gets a deeper backstory that's really explored throughout the season and that actually progresses the storyline forward in a really meaningful way. I especially love that this is the kind of show that they kind of tease things in like earlier episodes and then those things come into fruition and become bigger parts of the story later on. I love when shows do that kind of teasing you with stuff. And speaking of storylines, you know, they tackle so much in this season, particularly focused on how Vought can commercialize and manipulate pretty much anything for their own agenda. The government, religion, war, even someone's sexual assault to get what they want. And we learn that not everyone's on the same page as we see some soups kind of going rogue and doing their own things to achieve their own agendas. It really makes you think what happens when the soups start taking over and the people in charge can't control them anymore. I mean, they're all powerful and we're disposable. I think The Boys has a really solid script. It's very dark, it's very funny. There's a lot of great pop culture references and everything that goes on in the story, like I said, really moves the story along. Everything matters. The editing is also really fantastic. There's a lot of these dark, gory moments that are so fucked up that they're almost funny. There are some scenes that might be a lot for some people, but I think overall, I honestly thought they were pretty tasteful about the way that they kind of portrayed everything. I think what really intrigues me about this show is that both sides see themselves as the good guy. Both sides do good and bad things for different reasons. I think it brings up this really interesting kind of relatability and duality of like whether you're a super person or a regular person, you know, there is no just like good or bad person, we all kind of have a little bit of that in us, we're all human. And I have to say, I think for me at least, the only real criticism I have of the show is that, you know, the superhero group is called The Seven, and we really get to follow everyone's stories except 
black noir. And I get that he's like kind of a ninja, he's like sneaking around and stuff, but I think he's literally in two minutes of the entire series and I was just expecting to see a bit more of him. It, it didn't feel like he was a main character or even part of the seven, which is, you know, this big superhero team. Maybe we'll get to see a little more of him in season two. At this point he just kind of felt like a little recurring joke that came up a few times and not an integral part of the team. Overall I had a ton of fun watching the boys. It's dark, it's funny, it'll really make you think. Um, you really fall in love with this little ragtag bunch of vigilantes and I'm honestly shook and ready for whatever's coming in the already greenlit season two, especially after that shocking cliffhanger. And speaking of that, where do we go next? We're gonna get into like some slight little spoilers here as we kind of just bring up some questions that I would like answered in the next season. I would say that there's definitely two really big questions on my mind right now. The first is obviously what's going on with the Homelander or should I say home wrecker Billy and the truth about Becca. We've been told several different iterations of that story this season which turned out to not be true at all so I'm hoping that's one of the first things we get answers to in season two. I also want to know more about Homelander as a superpower person. Is he the first? I mean it seems like maybe because he has no history he could be, but how did that happen? Is it Compound V, aliens, or just something completely different? And what is the real purpose behind Vought and creating these superhumans. Something else that I would like to see next season is maybe one of the boys getting infected by Compound V. I mean that's something that happens in the comic book so I think it would be really interesting to see what would happen in the show. I wonder who would be first. I'm also hoping that the events of the finale lead to some shakeups and some changes in season two. Are we ever gonna find out what happened to Kimiko's brother? Did A-Train make it? Stillwell is gone. So what does that mean for Vought and the seven. And I mean like no matter what I feel like there's no way that Starlight won't be on Huey's side at this point. So it really comes down to is the seven still a thing? Maybe she will kind of play a little bit of a double agent and be an informant for the boys. I'm really curious to see what happens. I would love to know your thoughts in the comments down below about this season of the boys. How did you like it? Do you have any theories for season two? I would love to hear them. And if you like this one you can check out more videos of mine on the boys right over here. Thanks for watching. See ya.